Holy crap! <laughs> oh Dang! Oh Yo guys, do spot! Oh my god, look at this! What do we got on? It is? <gasps> oh, snap. That's scary. That's a nice size. Are you gonna release him? Are you gonna release him? All right, guys, we got this shark right here. We're gonna bleed it out. We're gonna take it. I just confirmed that it was uh, over 24 inches. Yeah, we just got it off of the waiting poker that we, I think it was waiting actually, that we got here. We're gonna cut it out. We're gonna take it, we're gonna pack up. And as soon as we are done, we're gonna go straight to my aunt's house so we can get it ready to cook. Oh, thanks, Rod, down there. What's up, Rod, down there? Alrighty guys, we apologize for not showing everything. We just know that when you land a shark, you have to bleed it out as soon as you can and then get it into some ice. We did not have any ice with us, just what we had in our small little cooler. We weren't even expecting to get a shark, but our main goal today was to get something we could try that was new. So. I had in mind to get a slot red a flounder and I did have planned to get a shark but I know sharks are more like tedious they take longer you have to have like a good recipe because of the ammonia smell and all that so we weren't really prepared but we were like yo if this is our last chance to get one we got to try it out so I hit up my aunt and I was like hey we're gonna pull up we're gonna bring the shark as we were driving here for like an hour and a half that's all that I was doing. I was trying to figure out like, how can I make this really good, like fresh, like straight from the water to the grill. If you look into how to cook shark and the whole ammonia uh, smell that uh, they give, like you have to, you know, find a pretty good recipe. So that's what I was doing the whole time here. And uh, I told my aunt, uh, maybe other family members are gonna be there too because they have never tried shark as I've never tried shark. Laura's never tried shark. So this is gonna be pretty cool to go do, but also invite others who have never tried it before as well. Yo, we can try this for the first time. Shark, the vlogs, trying shark, yo. We're, we're doing things, yo. Besides taking the skin off right there, you guys want to take all that red off of there. All through there. If you see it through in here, you gotta cut it from where it is and, and take all that red out. That's what gives you a real fishy taste to it.
cannot smell any of the ammonia. I smell the balsamic vinegar. And then we're gonna do these ones on the grill and then my aunt over there is going to, we're gonna deep fry some shark. My, my uncle, my aunt, they made some breaded shark that just took me by surprise when I tried it. And I was like, wow, like you guys know that I do not like fish. I, I just don't like fish that's too fishy. So like to try something like this is like crazy and also share it with others who haven't tried it. Why do you not like fish? Hmm? Um, I just, I think I grew up fishing a lot and then always like cutting the fish open and all that. Like you just don't like it at the end of it. But this, this, Shark right here does not smell like fish. That's how you do it? No. But it looks good. Fish. <laughs> it doesn't taste like fish. It tastes a lot of uh, the vinegar. So we are going to try the shark. Actually, I already did try it. The texture it do is good. It doesn't taste like fish at all. Actually, my hands, I just butchered an entire shark and my hands do not smell like fish at all. It's crazy. I made that one on the grill and then we soaked it in the vinegar. I will say that the vinegar was overpowering a little bit, but if you mix it up with the, uh, if you mix it up with the rice, it neutralizes it like so well. Mm. Mm hmm Yeah, you gotta try that with the rice. That's phenomenal. <laughs> it gives it a really good taste. Like, it's just weird to have the balsamic vinegar because you think about a salad, but you're eating shark. So, I don't know. It's good though, it's not bad at all. The texture, it's, it's so nice. If you ever say it to, like, taste like salmon, it just melts in your mouth and it just pieces uh -huh. away. This one's a little bit more tougher on the outer shell, but the inner core feels about the same prepared. It's just, like I said, the vinegar definitely got to. Yo, we need Chris as our food critic. Right? <laughs> like, the way he said that was like perfect. <laughs> oh, that's what I said. Listen to what he Bro, said. See that way, Yeah, all of it together. Perfect. It was really good. The Louisiana breaded, and it was marinated with some milk on it. So Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that one's really good. This is straight up chicken. <laughs> Here, try it. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> it tastes really good. Straight up chicken. Wow, it clicks in my mind, but it doesn't click in my mind that it's a shark that we landed today. Mm -hmm. Go get yourselves a shark. I recommend it. Fuck me onions. I love that food. <laughs>